Hello, everyone. This is Drew from Best of Us Investors working with Mark on the Platinum Trading Platform. So again, Mark has been in the investment field for over 40 years now and has worked as the director of operation for an online firm for about 10 years. He will be doing overviews on what he saw in the market and charts from the previous week regarding swing trades and also share some of the stocks he is keeping an eye on for swing trades as well for the upcoming week. So for real-time buy sell signal notifications based on seven indicators and insights on stocks that are setting up for a great trade each day, along with educational videos on how to read charts, come join our Platinum group and let's get through this tough market together seeking for great swing trade opportunities opportunities and even for great potential entry points for long-term investments as well. So make sure you check the link in the description below for the Platinum membership. And I just wanted to remind you that this video is not made for financial advice, but for educational purposes only. So Mark, how was the market last week? And are there any major stocks that triggered a buy or sell signal? Okay, so this week has been a volatile week. And, and here we have a chart of the S&P 500. You can see our 200-day moving average is quite above our price section, trending down. 50-day moving average above our price section, trending down. The 20-day moving average, you can see last week, it acted as resistance. Uh, and this week, still moving down. This is today. The market's not closed yet. But we had a little candlestick wick come up, hit the 20, uh, and acted as resistance again. Now we're currently trading underneath the nine-day simple moving average. As you all know, on Thursday, CPI came out, and initially the market went down 400 points and then ended up you know, 827 points. That is a huge price action candle right there. Okay, but it stopped right at the nine day simple moving average, and now we're trading below. This market is still trending downward. Okay, even though we have days like this, you will see days like this uh, bull market uh, rallies in a bear market, and that's what we're in. If we go back just for a year, you can see since January, we're having a downward trend and continue to go down, even with these uh, price actions like we had on Thursday. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of a bounce up we had in the RSI, which is momentum, but it's gone back down today. We're seeing a crossover a little in the slow plastic and just flat line on the MACD. This market is uh, nowhere near getting back to where we were, in my opinion. So this week we had a few trades. You can see in on the 4th of October, we bought into the energy sector, which was uh, starting to, to go up. And we bought into the XLE and, and the OXY, the Occidental Petroleum. Energy is very volatile. So we bought in at 77.17 on the XLE and 65.20 on Occidental Petroleum. You can see uh, we sold out at $81 and at 68.20. We're about a 5% on the XLE and also a 4.5 to 4.6 on the Occidental Petroleum. Then this week on Thursday, you can see that we got into Campbell's Soup. This was when the, the market went way up. I was expecting we would have nothing to do on this day because I thought it was going to be down, but it swung up. We hit into our price target at 49.01. That's about where the 50-day moving average was. Today's price went down to 50.13. As we said on our morning uh, update on the watch list, if this would go down and hit at 50.33, that's where we would get out. So that's where we would have gotten out on half of our position. We had a strategy. The, the, the charts still say that we're in a in a good position to stay in, but I want to show our platinum channel certain strategies. This is a learning strategy. So if we got out at 50.33, uh, we would have had about a 2.7% profit in one day. So we're going to say we got out, uh, but we're also going to put in another one here that shows if we stayed in, when would the charts tell us to get out? And maybe they'll go up, maybe they'll go down. But as far as I'm concerned, I would have set a stop limit at 5033 and got out of this trade, even though the guidelines were still showing positive, but even on a down day, we're starting to turn around just a little bit, Drew. Let's go take a look. So here's Campbell Soup. We got into this trade on Thursday. Uh, we've been watching this week because we had a close here above the nine day. We're trading above the 200 day. And then you see we bumped up and we, and we traded off uh, the 20 day moving average. Now these markets are very volatile. We uh, decided to get in if we hit this 50 day moving average and broke across. And that's where you see this white line at 4901. And that's where we got in. Now yesterday, this was our yesterday candle. You can see we went all the way up to resistance. We never did sell yesterday. This morning, when we got into our watch list, I said, We're, you can put in, because this market's so volatile, let's put in a stop limit right here at 5033. And if it hits, 
will be fine. And one of the strategies that we do is if you're up a good portion of your portfolio or your, your position, take half off and then you still gain uh, that, mu- that much of a profit on your on your trade. Now, right now we're trading under our limit. If we'd have taken half off, we would add half off uh, right here, but you can still see we're still above the 200-day moving average. We're still above the nine. We're still above the 20 and those are ascending and we're above the 50. We have a lot of room here. This could come back, bounce off the nine, come back up or it could come straight down because of this price action. So we're going to assume we took some off, which is what I would have done. And then we're going to assume on the other half, we kept it on and see what happens with these charts. But as you can see, we can, the MACD is still separating a little from the signal line. We've seen a little bit of a rollover on the slow scholastic, and you can see a rollover on the RSI on the momentum, but we're still above the 50. So you could basically remain in this trade, but I am risk averse. I would have gotten out right there and taken my profits. So we got into the XLE on the fourth. You can see that the candle is above the nine day, the 200 day, the 20 day. We're just bouncing off the 50. So we got in at this point. We didn't get out until uh, October 10th, which is right here, as it started to come back down. Now, we're very volatile here. At this point, you can see we had a crossover in the slow scholastic and we had a downtrend in the RSI. And those were enough for me to say, you know, I have enough profit at just about 5%. Uh, I'm going to get out and not risk going any further. But you can see the next day uh, we were down and the next day we're down. And then Thursday was a big day on the market, went back up. Technically, we never closed above below the nine-day single mo- or simple moving average. So we could have stayed in this trade. But with my experience, I wanted to take my profit and get out because it's very volatile. But we would still be in this trade technically if we just traded off being above or below the nine-day moving average. So in Occidental Petroleum, we got in on the fourth. Okay, you can see we're above the uh, nine day, we're above the 20, we're above the 50. And on the fourth, we had a crossover in the MACD the day before. We were already crossed over in Slows Classic. We started to see some momentum in the RSI. So we decided to jump into this trade. And again, we got out on the 10th. As you can see, we put in stop limits and got out on the 10th. It came all the way down, bounced off, and closed right on the 50. We got out with a profit about 4.5%. The next day, closed below the nine-day single simple moving average, as it did on Wednesday. Thursday, we had the pop back up. We're still below, basically, as far as candlesticks, the nine. And then you see today, we're just bouncing right off the nine again. So that was a good trade. We got out. We got in. We got out. We made four and a half percent. You can come down. You can see we have not crossed on the MACD yet, although it's going sideways. But we did have a cross on the, on the slow scholastic, which crossed back because of this price action here. But our momentum is going down. So we're out of this trade also. So the only trade we uh, are in technically is half a position in Campbell's soup right now. So the NASDAQ, you know, if we look at it, we're still below the 200, we're below the 50, we're below the 20 day, and we're below the nine. And these are all trending down. This is not a good trend for the markets as far as trends go. Yesterday, even with the big upswing, we still didn't even make it back to the nine day simple moving average. Today, we did hit the nine day. Now we're trading below. If we go down, we have a flat MACD. We have a bit of a crossover, but low on the slow scholastic and our, our RSI momentum is once again going down. So again, let's just go look at a yearly. This is a downward trend. You know, since uh, January, we just continue to go down. We did hit our head on the 200 here. Couldn't get past it. Made another attempt to get above it. Couldn't get past it. We're just continuing to go lower. So it's a hard uh, market for swing traders at this point. But we do find a few jewels like Occidental Petroleum, like the XLE, and also like Campbell Soup. All right. Thank you, Mark. Um, and thank you very much for listening. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. For more details and updates regarding swing trades, chart analysis, and stocks we watch each day, that are set up for a great trade. Make sure you join our platinum group and let's successfully invest and trade and make it through this tough market together. See you all next week. Thank you.